Okay, there's going to be a little banging going on. Uh, I've noticed this camera's microphone seems to have protection if it's too loud of an explosion nearby. So it makes my rifle sound like it's hardly even shooting. But uh, guys, a few benches down, you'll hear their guns going off. So anyway, that explains the weird sounds when you uh, hear the shot going downrange. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to keep our uh, recording going here while I shoot about three rounds. I'm uh, double checking. Had a little problem last week with the uh, gun misfiring, so it's been totally clean now. Hopefully, that'll clear up the misfires. And we'll see what happens here with the first three rounds at the left target. Okay, so those two were up and right, and uh, the first one was low left, but I guess I'm going to need another round to verify which is which. Well, I uh, changed my mind. I'm going to do three more rounds just to see what kind of a group I can get. The barrel's probably medium warm by at this point. It's not real hot, though. Well, that's interesting. That one went even higher. Hmm. That's it. That's a funny thing I've been noticing about this gun. It, uh... Shoots a few where you expect and then it starts raising. Well, I see what's going on. I'm, uh, <laughs> even with the uh, sled from Caldwell there, I, uh, I notice you can still move it around a little bit. That uh, last shot, I felt like I did that right on the bullseye, and sure enough, that's where it went. So, at this point, the gun is pretty much zeroed in. It's just the uh, operator that's screwing things up. Um, I'm going to put another three rounds in it here and let it cool a little bit. Keep the recording going. Okay, we're going to go over to the right target now. If I can get the camera to stay put. There we go. That's, uh, that's exactly where I want it. Can't get this doggone camera to stay right on the... I think your camera's fine. I think it's the boards wiggling. What's that? I think the boards wiggling from the wind. Oh yeah, any... When I've zoomed out all the way on this thing, any little wiggle 
is like a mile down at the other end, you know? Yeah. And he, it's hard, and this is a cheap tripod. That's the next thing I'm gonna do is get a good tripod. Yeah, but it's not wiggling. Yeah, it doesn't take anything. I mean, I think the board down there, the wind is... is yeah, good. that's part of it too, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we do have a little bit of a breeze, don't yeah, we? Yeah, there's tailwind, so... I'm, uh, I just bought the heat sled, and I had to look at about 20 different possibilities. And I got to think of with my bipod on there and everything, what the hell would work with this gun, you know? And I, I just decided, okay, I'm going to buy this one. Looks pretty and good. sure enough, it's just totally extended, you, you know? You can move it, but I have to totally extend it, and that's the only place it'll hold that gun. Looks pretty good, though. But it just worked out perfect. Good for dialing shit in. When it's right. Wow. If I jerk or anything? I didn't. I was watching this thing. Watch me. Okay. Watch me on this next one. Tell me. All right. I, I, I can't get my finger in here because of this bar. It's like the rubber grip. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's actually digging in the uh, the safety digs into my finger. Oh. See, I. So yeah. I. Is that an I was easy? trying to. Eat, yeah. It's, that's the only downside to this thing that i found so far is the bar gets in the way of the pistol grip. Right. A rifle like that, it'll probably be fine. Right. But with a pistol grip, it just, and that safety right there, it's like you gotta kind of cringe every time you pull the trigger. Yeah, just squeeze. Huh. Well, I don't know what to think. <laughs> this thing doesn't shoot the tight groups I want it to shoot. Could be ammo. That time I felt like I didn't jerk or anything, no, no, did no. I? Could be ammo. Look how hot the barrel's getting. That's not that hot. You never know on ammo, though. Just try some different brand. Yeah, well, I've been trying, I don't know, I tried another kind of brand, and this seemed to do a little better, but it's like, do you want to keep messing around with different brands and have to readjust the scope every time, or what, you know? Well, I mean, try a boat tail here. You got any, is that the only ammo you got? Is that a 16 inch barrel or 18? It's 18 inch. You got a horn in here too, huh? The next it's a boat tail. Yeah. Yeah, try one of those. Okay, so we do the match on the first one and see what happens on the other two. Yeah, it's just a different shaped bullet too. My gun, I mean, it's a Wyndham 18 inch, it's an 18 inch barrel too, 308, but it doesn't like that bullet at all. Oh, It'll really? Like two inch groups. And I shoot these and they're all... What I mean, weight is it? Uh, 168. Okay, because uh, these are 165. 
Yeah, so I've got the 168s and I tried some 175 same shape bullet and they're all, I mean, they're all inch groups. But right. I shoot those and they're over two. So try that, see what you think. Okay. Way high and left. Wow. Whoa. Crazy. That's interesting. Yeah. Heavier bullet. Higher. Well, you don't know the you don't know the speed of it either. So yes, probably a different amount of gunpowder. Who yeah, knows what? Right. Stuff. Right. Yeah. Low and right. Now, was that the low right? Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Is that weird or what? Yeah, they're all over the place. I mean, you can hit a frickin' deer, but that's about it. You wouldn't want to shoot varmint. Well, it should be way tighter than that, though. Something, yes. Something's gonna be. Back up high and slightly right. Huh. Well, that's concerning as it gets. I don't. You Is didn't it see new? It or anything, huh? Is it new? Huh? Not new. Well, it's had probably 20 boxes put through it. Oh, so it should be broke in. Yeah. But at least it's not misfiring. It was misfiring my last box. I had about five misfires. Oh wow. So I tore it all down and cleaned it and everything and oiled it a little. It seems to have at least gotten rid of the misfire gremlin, so that's good. Yeah, I went back and forth between getting the Smith and Wesson. What's that? I said I went back and forth between getting the Smith and Wesson or getting the Wyndham, and I ended up going with the Wyndham. I really like it. So it's a lot more accurate? inch inch grooves all yeah. the time i mean it shoots an inch at 200. i just changed the trigger and put in a, a lot better trigger because the other one had about a six pound pull it's like you just had to totally concentrate to yeah, that's this one got about a six pound pull yeah and i changed the ones uh, it's like a two and a half to a four pound. right you can adjust it and it, man it's nice just tight first time i shot it today though right
Well, it's not so much the gun as it's the shooter. Um, I guess my worst shot was on that second plate, high, high on the forehead. Looks like I had a pretty bad shot on the fourth plate over to the right. I uh, found that after those three on the second plate, I started moving my aim point down a little bit. But basically, uh, me trying to shoot fast um, gets a little irregular. I guess there's a high one on the forehead of the first plate too. But uh, I'm thinking my gun's okay. It's mostly just my ability to aim and shoot without jerking around.